Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting. Thank you so much for visiting me today. Uh, I'm coming today with a video. I had so many beautiful response uh, comments uh, on my previous video with those uh, two journals. One was with those cars and the other one was those gorgeous girls. And I had so many uh, questions and I chat a lot <laughs> with, with ladies and the with ladies, yeah, that was just with ladies, uh, how I made these layers and what they can use if they don't have gorgeous girls or these cars, what they can uh, what they can use to make these layers. So today it will be trying. I really do believe uh, that we all have some kind of image in our stuff, which can be made this way with those layers. Uh, if you ever pur purchased by both uh, ordered <laughs> from Etsy some digital digital collection, maybe you will find there something what looks like you can have there some some layers. I'm gonna choose uh, one of my newest collection. This is, by the way, amazing uh, amazing nature collection. This is mostly uh, tags and ephemeras. I've got it now on my Etsy. I will put link down below for those who are interested. If you like nature, so I do believe, or I hope you <laughs> like this collection. I can't believe, but <laughs> I can't be sure, but <laughs> not can't believe. I can't be sure, but I really hope you will like this collection. It's full of amazing images from the nature, from our mother of earth. And I'm going to choose one. Yeah. This one. I'm gonna just show you quick preview what you can expect and there is also collection of uh, amazing nature journaling pages that it's pretty much uh, just vintage background and there are some landscapes drawings very simple those uh, journaling pages but the collection with those ephemeras it's I think very nice and colorful with gorgeous images so I hope that it will find right good home in, in your in your craft room. So this is uh, I think it's not all. I think I didn't print it all, but there is 49 sheets like this. Not images, but sheets like this. 49 in that amazing nature. I will put link down below for those who are interested to have a look. And I'm going to take one image from <coughs> this triplet. This can be used like you can fold it this way and you've got like triple booklet. Or I can cut one of these frames. So I'm going to cut exactly between. And I'm going to cut also that white frame from the printer so we will have just that image itself and I will try to show you on this how you can actually make the layers and I hope it will be easy and we will have some fun with creating <laughs> so I do have my base uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut that image around this frame uh, the image it's like layering uh, like a notepad with few layers of other papers underneath and here on the top it's like a frame with with the picture inside so i'm gonna cut that <clears throat> that frame all around and i think i'm gonna cut a little bit here in that in that triangle as well so i do have my frame with that image and i do have that uh, around piece and uh, I forgot to say I did print out uh, all, all these images on 160 GSM paper uh, I've got here piece from some oh fajitas yeah fajitas uh, box and I've got here the wrapping paper which came in some order from Amazon and it's beautiful brown so I'm gonna use these two First, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this image with that frame and I'm gonna glue it on my piece from Fajitas, I think. 
I'm gonna use my <laughs> nail file and first I'm gonna try to sand this one a little bit that that color a little bit down you don't have to sound it all but just uh, like around that uh, that image I don't want to have it there too much colorful so with my nail file I'm gonna a little bit distress the top of that the, of that coated image. Yeah. So it looks like this, and it wasn't too much hard to do. So I'm gonna glue all this piece on my small chipboard. like this and now I'm gonna take my knife again and I'm gonna cut off the inside of this uh, frame that picture itself so I'm gonna use my knife and cut it on the edges and cut that piece that image out of my frame like this so I do have beautiful card with the brown uh, light brown background which is perfect for writing and it's kind of plain so what I'm gonna do I do have uh, many sheets like collage uh, sheets so what I did uh, I punched my tab and I use this uh, Vison creative I'm gonna I'm gonna put link down below uh, I found it on Amazon I hope they still have it it makes these beautiful large tabs so I punched from one of my collage papers this decorative tab and first I think will I make sewn effect or not will I sew it I think after I will glue to the tap I will make it just some sewing frame so I'm gonna put the glue Mm, or not <laughs> yes I will on the tap like this fold and glue it together like this and I'm gonna let it dry before I will use my sewing machine and I think I will do some just frame sewn effect <clears throat> meanwhile I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna try to cut uh, to fussy cut out this frame I think I will uh, take a little bit just really millimeter one millimeter around of this frame make it a little bit bigger and here on the top I didn't cut it straight I made there those waves so I'm gonna cut that as well and mm, I actually like it this one so I think I'm not gonna cut it all just gonna make it a little bit more worn that do not make it straight I'm gonna take my uh, distress ink uh, I'm gonna take walnut stain and I'm gonna distress uh, this bottom of my frame and all around I think Especially the bottom to make it a little bit more darker. But because I sanded that uh, Fajita's box a little bit with that uh, file, nail file, 
not file, nail file, uh, that edge of that box, it's already distressed and it makes, uh, because I sanded it, it's already mis mistress, oh, I'm sorry, distress, <laughs> and because of that, oh shoot, <laughs> it makes beautiful edge on, on that frame, so I'm not gonna distress it too much, you know, to cover that box, because I like that, the distressed effect on that box, that's why I cut it a little bit uh, with a small gap uh, between edge of my frame and edge of that image. So I do have my frame, that image, and I'm gonna take back this one. I could hear this uh, packing paper and it's really nice paper so why do not use it right I'm gonna first distress the edges a little bit so for hmm, for making my the, the edges of that image a little bit worn uh, I don't want to rip them totally with my scissors so I'm gonna use again that nail file and I'm gonna just do it this way that here and there I'm gonna distress it with this here I have to be very careful because it's not a big space so it's very teeny tiny paper and I don't want to rip it off so I'm gonna go just with the edge of my nail file and I'm gonna kind of distress it using this and I just want to show you one small trick if you will take stamping block or some you know a hard piece of something <laughs> with straight edge you can place your image on the edge and with that nail file just go over that edge and I will show you immediately and you can create this type of vintage distressed look like this here so it's it's kind of like my tool when I am uh, making those edges so I'm placing the image on the edge of that uh, stamping uh, I just said that what is it? <laughs> stamping play oh my <laughs> I just said that and I lost that word immediately of the stamping block oh shoot and I'm kind of like moving the image and using that nail oh, nail file I'm making my ripped edges just small idea what you can use and I'm gonna take again walnut stain and distress the edges of my piece I'm gonna take this and just very soft distressing I don't want to put that too much color to make it too dark So I distress all these edges. I'm going to take my glue and glue this piece on my brown packing paper. Sorry for those noises. I need to switch off the noises on my mobile. Sorry for that. So I'm going to put the glue on all this piece and glue it on my paper. So I did glue it on my uh, packing paper and as you can see I left pretty much big space around and that's because uh, now I'm gonna take this Tim Holtz uh, it's from Tim Holtz tissue paper and uh, I saved for myself the edge where is that ripping uh, strip that acetate piece or that acetate strip with those teeth <laughs> it's like so <laughs> so I'm gonna rip my paper around using this Tim Holtz 
Vripping ruler. I'm gonna call that this way. It makes beautiful edge on my paper, or I can very easily, you know, to grab that paper and slowly rip it all around. And because that image itself has already those layers in that uh, in that design, with this I can make it more like more layers on that and here I'm gonna just use this and rip it around yeah why not like this so I've got my base I've got frame and this tag uh, what I made, uh, it's from one long strip of acetate piece. When I fold it half, it was actually the size I need. It's a little bit wider than my frame, but I don't mind. Uh, I'm gonna glue that frame on it. So I will have I will have visible those uh, sides and that stitching. So I'm gonna put ac acetate, the double sided tape. Oh shoot. <laughs> I'm gonna use double sided tape for gluing my small frame on that acetate sheet okay. how thick I need this and yes here I can fit as well so I'm gonna glue it yeah it's like pocket like this before I will glue that frame on it I'm gonna glue it from one side uh, double sided tape especially on the entry I mean on the side where it's entry there I have to be I want to be, not have to be, I want to be exactly on the edge to make sure that later I will don't have any issues to slide the picture inside. So I need to glue it to the background nicely. So I'm gonna put my double sided tape here. Press it nicely to make sure that the beside tape will hold. And now from that opposite side, I'm going to glue that frame like this. So it's glued on my acetate piece. Now I'm going to take off that backing paper from the double sided tape. And I'm going to glue this acetate pocket on my paper here. Over here. Oh. Like this. I'm gonna press it nicely. I can slide my picture inside. And because here on that uh image design there are like poked holes I'm gonna take my crocodile move it on 316 and poke the holes in there here and here and of course to make it look vintage I'm gonna a little bit like make them not even with my scissors and use my distress tool and make them a little bit dirty. So now we just altered one image. 
and it wasn't too hard i believe it was kind of nice and easy so from one flat image we do have beautiful pocket and the space for writing and i didn't use too many tools so this way you can create so many i do believe you do have some image you can use and if you don't have i will be happy if you <laughs> go have a look on this collection i hope you will like it for those who will who will buy it i hope you will enjoy it because i try to do my best i do love all kind of nature style and uh, forest and all animals all birds always when some bird front of my window i am so happy it's like like they are singing for me so <laughs> i'm feeling always so happy and i do love mushrooms there are also mushrooms so if you do like uh, nature style i hope you will like this collection so this is my sharing for today i will come back uh, again with some idea how you can alter the flat image and to make it like more a dimensional i hope you did enjoy it thank you so so much for spending your time with me today thank you so much for visiting my channel have a beautiful day. Take care about yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.